Hello and welcome back everyone to what is our free trading lessons. Today it's time for lesson 5, but if you miss any of the previous lessons, don't worry because they're all uploaded in our YouTube channel and you can check them anytime. Now let's continue with lesson 5. As you already know, we are DM Trading Bulgaria and if you want to find more about us, you can check our website that I'm showing you here. Again, to remind you of the plan, for those of you who are watching the first video, they know that uh, from the introduction, I represent the whole plan there and uh, currently we are on section 2, technical analysis and uh, today's lesson is uh, going to be about support and resistance and indicators. So, let's start. What is a support? The simplest definition is that this is a level where the price is uh, stopping and finding a support after a drop. As you already know from the name, this is a level which is acting like a support for the price and whenever the price stops, it can either start to consolidate on this level or test it for eventual break. With other words, on the support level, they are waiting a lot of uh, passive buy orders, which is making the price to stop there and also the buyers and the sellers are exchanging contracts which is making the price consolidation. The main usage of the support is to determine levels on which the price can react and by this to determine its next movement. Usually for the trading plans it's very important for the traders to know where the price may stop or with other words the movement will be exhausted and also where they can plan their entry. On the next slide you can see an actual representation of how the support is working. The price is testing the support as you can see twice here and here and whenever it fails to break it because the support is represented from this blue line it's continuing with its movement. If you remember I told you that on this level the buyers and sellers are actually fighting to each other and in this way the buyers won and they're pushing the price further up. Now we are coming to the resistance. So, what is the resistance? Again, as you can guess from the name, it's a level which is resisting to the upward movement of the price and whenever the price reaches it, it can either test it for a break or it can stop and start to consolidate there. More about how it is working, I can tell you that it is pretty much the same as the support level but just upside down. Again, on the resistance level, they are staying a lot of pending orders but with that difference that uh, this time there are sell orders and the buyers and the sellers are fighting to each other which is actually making the price to stop. The main usage is again very similar to the support line but again upside down. The traders are looking for a level where the price may stop and they are trying to adjust their plan according to that. On the next chart we can see representation of the resistance reaction. As you can see the price is testing the resistance level twice again. Uh, the resistance levels is represented from this blue line again and in this case in the end it breaks it and continues with its upward movement again. However, you should know that uh, sometimes it fails to break it and it can fail back down. The support and resistance are playing actually a very big role into the uptrend, downtrend and the range movements as well. On the next few slides I'm going to show you on illustrations how the price is reacting on certain situations. So let's get to it. As you can see this is an illustration of an option. You are familiar with it from our previous lesson. However now I'm going to show you just on which levels the resistance and the support are playing its role. As you can see this is the support levels from which the price is bouncing up and it's continuing with its further up movement. And those are the resistance levels which are actually stopping the price and it's forced to make a correction before the next wave up. If the uptrend is strong, this situation that I show you here is going to replicate for many times. For the downtrend that you can see here, the situation is uh, pretty much the same. However, now the support is pushing the price to react as you can see here and here and it's forcing the price to make corrections on the long side. The resistance levels are just going lower and lower determining the main movement. For the range however, the situation is a little bit different. Here the support and the resistance lines are horizontal which is making the price to bounce between these borders and the price is actually moving sideways. In many cases these formations are on levels where the buyers and the sellers are fighting with each other and whoever won will determine the direction of the next price movement. Here on the examples from the previous lesson 
we can see all of these formations and movements but on a real chart. So if you remember, this is the range and as you can see the price is bouncing between these borders when in the end it is breaking the range from the upside and it's continuing with an uptrend. In the uptrend you can see that the price is making corrections, bouncing from the support levels and it's continuing with its upward movement. For the downtrend it is pretty much the same, the price is hitting the resistance and it's continuing with its drop. On the markets there are no perfect formations and not everything is what it is in the textbook so that's why I wanted to show you all of this on a real chart. Here in the uptrend you can see that in the end the price is breaking the support level here and actually the uptrend uh, has finished but I'm going to speak more about the different scenarios and reactions into the next slide. So the different scenarios they can be for the price either to bounce from a certain level or to break it. On the chart on the right it is very well illustrated as you can see this is the support line and this is the resistance line the price is bouncing several times as you can see here here from the resistance and here from the support and in the end it is breaking the resistance and it's continuing with its upward movement this is another example of the price to test a support level and to bounce up from it i'm showing you this in order to make a connection with the double bottom formation which you're going to see on many places. This is one bottom and another bottom. And in this way, you're going to be able to understand more easily how it's working and how it's formed. On the next slide, you can see the same reaction, but from a resistance level. The price is testing the resistance twice, as you can see here and here. And after this, it fails to break it and fails back down. You can find this as a double top formation as well. Now, let's talk about indicators. First, what are they? The market indicators are two which are helping the traders by giving them additional confirmation in favor or against certain plan or decision. They are using different approaches and calculations in order to give you signals based on historical data. Well, all of them have different ways of usage, but in the most cases you just have to read the signals which the indicators are giving you and first to decide are you going to trust them or not. Then, when this is clear, you can get additional confidence and adjust your strategy in, let's say, in a riskier way if the signups is supporting your plan and your idea. Or if it is against your expectations, you may decide to abandon your plan because the indicator is giving you signups against your initial idea. About the advantages and disadvantages, it is very dependable from are comfortable to trust these tools or not. But in my opinion, the main advantage is that they are providing you with a lot of calculations, which is saving you a lot of time and you just need to read the data and to decide either or not you're going to implement it. And the main disadvantage for me is that all of these calculations are made on historical data, which can easily mislead you. The first indicator which we are going to discuss is the RSI. The way of how it is working and how it is used is very simple. There are borders between 30 and 70, as you can see on the chart here on the right. And whenever the price of a certain security is on a level where the RSI line, which is the purple line here, is above 70, it's a sign out that this security is overbought and you should look for short opportunities. And vice versa, if the price of a certain security is on a level where the RSI line is below 30, it's a sign out that this security is oversold and you should look for buy opportunities. And here on the next example, you can see that whenever the price is moving into a range, as it is here, the line of the RSI is moving into between the borders between 30 and 70 into this pink rectangle. Here, when the price is trying to break this resistance level here and try to continue with its further movement up, the RSI is giving you a sign of that this is an overbought security and as you can see after this follows a big downtrend. And here of course you can see that after this drop that I showed you just now, the RSI is already giving you a sign of that this security is oversold and here you should look for buy opportunities. The RSI can be combined also with support and resistance area and if let's say this was a resistance area from before this is giving you double sign of that it's very probable for the price to fail to break the resistance and to continue with its further down movement. 
Here on the next example, we can see again reactions and confirmations from the RSI line. Here is again for overbought security and the price is falling down. And here is for oversold security and the price is going up. What is interesting here is that the level 50, I don't know if you can see it here, but where the RSI line had stopped, sometimes is used to determine either support or of course a resistance level but this is not very commonly used. In this case, as you can see, the price has determined a support level and from it, it's bounced up and it continued with its upward movement. The next indicator which we are going to observe are the actual Fibonacci lines. If you're interested on who is Fibonacci and you want to know more about the Fibonacci lines, you can write on the comments below and I'll make a separate video especially for this. So, first, how it works. Well, first you have to draw the Fibonacci lines on the chart, usually they are on the indicator tools. And in order to make it, you have to catch the highest and the lowest point for a certain movement. In a minute, I'm going to show you all of this on a real chart, but first let's talk about which are the strongest levels. You can have many varieties with less or with more levels, but the strongest levels are 23.6, 38.2, 50 and 61.8. The main usage of this tool is to give you additional support and resistance levels from which the price can react even though you're not expecting it. Here on the next example, you can see more about how the Fibonacci lines looks like and how they are drawn. As I already told you, you have to catch the highest and the lowest point and then you have to just click and drag from one side to the other. The lines will appear automatically and then on the chart you will see that there are certain levels that there is pretty much nothing but even though the price is reacting. As you can see here from 61.8 the price is reacting as from a support level. After this it is using the same level as a resistance as you can see here. Then there is another support level on the number 50 as you can see it here. The price is consolidating here which is around the level 38.2. And after this, again, the level of 23.6 is used as a resistance level. You can use this chart and of course the lines on it to make further predictions from where the price can react even though you're not expecting it. This was everything from today's lesson. I hope you like it and I hope it was useful for you. There will be more coming, so stay tuned. If you want to see more of our videos, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course to click the little bell because in this way you're going to be notified immediately when we post a new video. Thank you very much for your attention, good luck with your trades and see you again next time. Bye bye!